OK, a zombie apocalypse is statistically unlikely. Enjoy telling that to a zombie as it settles in for an all-you-can-eat-you buffet. Um, actually, what you're doing is statistically unlikely. Yeah, no, no, don't worry about it. Get a... Nice guy. Not going to help. Have you ever actually sat down and thought about what you'd do if there was a zombie outbreak? Like, how you would make it out alive? Well, luckily for you, if you're a gamer, you've already been in training for years. And you should already know the five things you need to survive. OK, can't stress this enough. Teamwork is the most important thing. You're not going to survive on your own. If you do, you're going to go crazy. It's zombie apocalypse rules. I'm, I'm not sure why. Ding dong! Ding dong! Dinner's served! Come and get it! You need a group and you need to get on with your group so that they don't sacrifice you to the horde or smash your head in with a salt lick at the slightest provocation. Interactions with your group where you're all I'm only out for one guy and that's yours truly so you can all go to hell and suck a are only going to make the decision easier when some sucker has to go down into the zombie basement to activate a generator. <laughs> Be nice or else the nice people will f*** you up. Never mind the zombies. OK, the world has ended. You need weapons to defend yourself. We got weapons over here! Reloading! Guns are good against humans, zombies less so. Guns need ammo, uh, need reloading, break down, jam, go off unexpectedly. Much better are melee weapons. Even better, make your own. Cool. All you need are two things and some duct tape. Seriously, any two things. If you can set it on fire or cover it in poison, all the better. If it breaks, make more. Oh, brilliant. Simply brilliant. Everyone knows how to kill a zombie. Remove the head, destroy the brain, set it on fire. Easy, zombie 101. But it takes time, that's the problem. If you're dealing with one zombie, it's not a problem. There could be one zombie in here right now and we could finish filming, pack everything up and be out of here before he even had a chance to reach us. Unless he was one of those fast ones, in which case I'd hit him with this kettle or something. The problem is zombies travel in packs or hordes. So your best bet is distraction. Zombies like loud noises, bright lights, delicious smells. If you can combine one of these with something that explodes, all the better. <laughs> then just kick it off the roof and scarper in the opposite direction. As fun as it's going to be to tool around abandoned cities on a quad bike or dance naked in Times Square or whatever it is you've got planned for when society collapses, sooner or later you're going to need a plan. Where are you going? What are you going to eat and drink? What about shelter? So you've got your big zombie escape plans. The big four, they are escape by road, escape by water, escape by air and find the military. Let's see how successful each of those is in games, shall we? All right, there you go. Boats are your best bet. If you can find one, obviously. Plenty of docks, no boats. Finally, we have the fact that man is the real monster. I know you were probably thinking that the zombies were the monsters with the, the biting and, the, and the, the being monsters. But no, a lot of people will take the end of the world as an excuse to go crazy and then try and kill you. Luckily, it's pretty easy to spot these guys. Uh, if they keep mentioning dinner or going on about meat while waggling their eyebrows, Crazy. Boy, didn't you hear the bell? Dinner time. If they were a clown or a mascot or something before the outbreak and they continue to wear their costume, crazy. <laughs> but now, now, look at her now! Talking about the genetic perfection of zombies, crazy. The ultimate life form, tyrants. It's beautiful. Keep doing their job after the outbreak hits? Crazy. Special delivery, signature required. I have rounds to do and I'm behind! Wearing some kind of religious uniform or military insignia? Super crazy. I'll be sure to keep you entertained before I dispose of you. <laughs> so, five things. Five simple things that you already know that will save your life come the inevitable zompocalypse. 
Anything else you reckon we should know? Leave your advice in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. As fun as it's gonna be to tool around. And you should already know the five things, five things. <laughs> I don't know what that is.